Hello everyone, this is Roland with Archer Point. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at 13 commonly used nav keyboard shortcuts. Make sure to click the download link below to get our principal guide with all 78 shortcuts. The first shortcut I'd like to show you here is the Alt key. And this gives you quick access to the ribbon bar up here at the top. The first time you click Alt, it'll show you letters corresponding to the different tabs in the ribbon bar. So for example, if we wanted to go to Actions, we'd click A, and then it'll show you more letters corresponding to the different buttons within that tab. So for example, if we wanted to print confirmation, I just click C, and it would go ahead and run that for me. Now the next shortcut here I'd like to show you is Alt F3, and this allows you to quickly filter on any field in a page. So for example, if I'm on my sales order page here, and I want to find all the entries for the Canon group. I simply click on the Canon group and then do Alt F3 on my keyboard and it'll filter all entries to that field. You can use this on any single field on a page. So for example, location code or status. Now, if you want to clear all your filters really quickly, you can use the keyboard shortcut Control Shift A. So again, you'll see here, currently we're filtered on the Canon group, but if we do Control shift a it'll go ahead and clear all of our filters. The next shortcut I'd like to show you is Control shift enter And what this will do, it'll save whatever you're working on and create a brand new one. So for example, if we're creating a new sales order here, and uh, I wanted to create another one quickly, all I would have to do is control shift enter. It'll go ahead and save this one and then create a new one. So this is a really, really fast and easy way to really repeat new entries. Another great keyboard shortcut is alt F6. And this will expand or collapse the current window. So for example here, if I want to collapse the general tab, I can click alt F6. And it'll go ahead and collapse it, and I can click Alt F6 again to open it. Another good nav shortcut to know is Control N, and all this does is create a new entry depending on what page you're on. So, for example, if I'm on the sales page, it'll go ahead and open a new sales order. If you're ever unsure what a specific field in nav means, you can click F1 to open the related help page. For example, if I didn't know what the number field meant, I would place my cursor there and click F1 to open the help page for it. Another good keyboard shortcut to know is F8. What this does is copy the current field from the line above. So for example, if I wanted to copy over this item number into my next line, I'd press F8 and it'll copy it over. The next keyboard shortcut I'd like to show you is F9, which posts a document. So for example, if I wanted to post the sales invoice, I'd press F9, hit yes, and it would post. Another great shortcut is F7, and all this will do is open up the statistics for the selected entry. So for example, if I'm on the customer page and I wanted to see the statistics for the Canon group, I'd highlight them, press F7, and it would go ahead and run it for me. Our next keyboard shortcut, Control Delete, will delete whatever lines you have selected. So for example, if I had this open sales order selected and I hit Control Delete, it'll go ahead and prompt me to delete it. One of my favorite nav keyboard shortcuts is Control F3. And all this does is bring us to the nav search in the upper right hand corner. So let's try that now and then you can uh, just search for whatever you want. And last but not least, we have the shortcut F3, which will bring us to the filter box. And that concludes our 13 commonly used nav keyboard shortcuts. Again, make sure to click the download link below to get our printable guide with 78 shortcuts. Thanks for watching.